Hi guys, it's Katie. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In the last video in this series, I shared with you the bench update. Today, I have a super cute rug update for the front door, and I can't wait to share this one with you guys. I picked up this mat um, at Ikea a long time ago. Like, it's been three years since I've been to Ikea. <gasps> And I was going to put a funny saying on it, and then I was going to put a lemon and just hello. And I happened to be in Cricut Design Space and looking at lemon um, images that they had. And I went, oh my gosh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm so excited. So I flipped it over and I drew the half circle. It is a horrible looking half circle, but... The reality of it is, was I really wanted to use most of the mat. I didn't want it to um, be wasteful. So I just cut a weird looking circle and then I cleaned it all up to get it prepped to paint. Then, like I said, I found the images of the lemon in design space and then I had to do a little slicing because really all I wanted were the um, the little... What are, what are these? Like seeds? I don't know. <laughs> the little triangular pieces. And you can totally see how oopla my lemon is. But have you ever seen a lemon? They're not perfectly round. They're really kind of, they're just not, right? So anyway, back to my project. I cut the stencil out of some cardstock pieces and then I just pinned it on to the mat. Um, I got a little close to the edge so I just kind of pinned it carefully and I'm using some Waverly yellow chalk paint. I almost forgot to put these little doodads. Those are the seeds. Those are the seeds um, on the mat. And then I'm just using a stipple brush. Now this is probably the most important part of creating these mats is using the right type of brush because you really want to make sure you get that paint down deep into the crevices of um, the mat. Um, I dumped it in with some other paint that I thought was dry and it wasn't and so it made a little mess but it didn't matter. I fixed it and we finished up the project and in reality it I mean, like I said, I fixed it. It turned out so stinky cute. I'm so excited. But this was so much fun doing this like, like half lemon floor mat. So I just continued to um, stipple brush it, making sure that I got it um, down deep in the grooves really good and um, made sure that it was nice and painted everywhere that it needed to be. So then the most satisfying part is peeling off your stencil. And I'm so excited. This just turned out so stinking cute. And then for the outside part, um, like I said, lemons are not perfect. They are kind of like, I don't know, like they just have jagged edges, shapes, you know, to them or whatever. And so I just went around with some small bits of um, painter's tape I'm going to go back. They're not jagged, but they just, they're not perfectly circle, circular. So anyway, I just used painter's tape and then a little bit more of that yellow um, Waverly chalk paint. I don't know if I used chalk paint the last time I painted my doormat or if I used like acrylic paint, but I know that this is only going to be out for a short season and I'm not really too worried about it. I am going to spray it at the end with some poly clear spray and voila. I am so stinking excited about how this turned out and it just adds a little bit more fun to my front porch. Thanks for visiting me here guys.